Okay, everyone, we're back with the Dirt Devil Versa Vac Upright Vacuum. We're going to be vacuuming this hallway before using the Bissell Big Green Deep Cleaning Machine Carpet Cleaner on the hallway. We're going to clean right to here where this is. Big Green is ready. Cam other camera stand is ready. Then before we use the Big Green, we're going to go back over with the Dyson V10 Motorhead. That's why it's sitting there. But uh, let's grab this Dirt Devil and begin right here, shall we? Okay, everyone, we're back with the Dirt Devil VersaVac Upright Vacuum. We're going to be vacuuming this hallway before using the Bissell Big Green Deep Cleaning Machine Carpet Cleaner on the hallway. We're going to clean right to here where this is. Big Green is ready. Cam other camera stand is ready. Then before we use the Big Green, we're going to go back over with the Dyson V10 Motorhead. That's why it's sitting there. But uh, let's grab this Dirt Devil and begin right here, shall we? So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to recline the Dirt Devil and turn it on. This hallway gets dirty, but not exceptionally dirty. So relatively slow, really gives the dirt devil a chance to pick up as much dirt as possible. It's been a while since I carpet cleaned back here. You can see how matted the pile is. to unplug the vacuum the rest of the hallway. Let's see what the machine was able to pick up. That doesn't seem like that much. Just a small amount of pet hair and a few bits of sand and dirt. You know how many cats I have and that just doesn't seem like that much dirt. It doesn't seem like it picked up very much. Let's go back over with the Dyson and see what it can get. Speaking of cats, here's one right here. We're just gonna stop the results with the Dyson right here where we stopped with the Dirt Devil. Then we'll finish with the Dyson once we see what the Dirt Devil left. So let's vacuum the same area and see what the Dyson V10 motor had. 
is actually costing about 10 times as much as the Dirt Devil. The V10 has much better cleaning performance than the Dirt Devil does. I can feel the V10's agitation next to my foot. The Dirt Devil really didn't agitate very well. Strangely. And because the brushes on its brush roll aren't very stiff, so it's kind of just going to be scattering the dirt. Not, not scattering because the brushes, it doesn't, the brushes are not that stiff and the suction isn't particularly fantastic and neither does it have much airflow. So the V10 didn't really find much of anything either. It found some hair and some fuzz, but not even that much. It doesn't seem like this hallway is that dirty. I vacuumed it a couple days ago. Again, it's not a high traffic area by any means. The well, high traffic areas are going to be out there. So let's see what the V10 can do out here. Really not even that much. You can see how the carpets do look better after being vacuumed, but it's been a long time since they were carpet cleaned. So it's definitely time to carpet clean these carpets. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video with the Dirt Devil VersaVac and the Dyson V10 motor head. You can see the V10 didn't really pick up anything else. A little bit of dirt that the Dirt Devil left, but overall the Dirt Devil got the majority of the dirt in the carpet. It did scatter a couple pieces, but not much. You can still see how matted the carpet is. It's in serious need of some deep cleaning, which will be provided by the Bissell Big Green. So stay tuned for the video of the Bissell Big Green, and I will be right back. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.